Good morning, YouTube! We're back in the UK, sadly, but it's nice to be back. It's nice to have your home comforts. It's nice to have a proper bed, which I am in the process of changing because we are stinky. Look at the state of my hair. I think it's time for a haircut. Woohoo! <laughs> been a while since we've vlogged, it's been a few days, so I thought why not? What better day than today? It is a beautiful blue sky outside. Maddie's just gone to the gym and I think I'll go on a bike ride. Thought I'd just pop in to say hello, see how you're all doing. Yeah, we've got some exciting things today. Not really. What have we got down here? We've been doing a lot of spring cleaning. That's some stuff to get out. I'm getting rid of some trainers. I got some stuff from Amazon, so maybe I'll show you a little haul. Very exciting stuff. And with any luck, we might be going out for dinner later if we can get all our work done. So yeah, I'm in a good mood. Me and Maddie had a really productive meeting yesterday um, all about videos we're doing for the next month, uh, you know, our plans, because we wanted to go on holiday and stuff like that. Um, we're going up to London next weekend. All these bits and bobs, because um, there's been a few weeks, like before Porto, during Porto, after Porto, nearly like a three week period where we've, or at least I have been very disorganized. And this year I've been very used to having an organized list of what I'm doing for the week. So it's thrown me off a little bit and I've been, uh, you know, I've been a bit of a muddle. This is my advice of the day for anyone watching. <laughs> is just to plan out your week, plan out your month. It makes me more productive when I know exactly what I'm doing, when I have a list of the things I need to do for business, for my own personal stuff, little things I've been putting off for weeks and weeks. So yeah, feeling positive today. I'm gonna go on a little bike ride. It has been a long time since I've been on a bike ride. I don't know why I'm backing off like this. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm very jealous of seeing all the people in Thailand. This time last year, we just started this vlogging channel and we were in Thailand cycling up the mountain at 6.30 every day. Fast forward a year and yeah, I haven't been cycling in nearly a month. So time to correct that. See you in a bit. Oh my goodness me. I just want to get back into bed after that leg workout, honestly. Alex is on a bike ride and I told him to go on a bike ride because I'm a good girlfriend because he hasn't been on a bike ride in a while and I was like, you should go out, you should leave the house, it's nice. But I just came back from a leg workout and it's like my first workout since being on holiday. Not my first workout, my first leg workout since being on holiday. Oh my God, I look crazy. Oh. Yeah, it's my first leg workout since going away and I always think that leg workouts in particular are the most strenuous because you're just using such a big muscle and it's been so long. But it was kind of cool because I was in there with um, one other guy and I was doing Bulgarian split squats, which are awful. They are so hard. And he, he was looking, he was, he was doing like lunges, I think. And he was like, they look harder than what I'm doing. I'm gonna try that. So he like took my workout and like copied it. And then we were like talking about it. And he um, even added weights to my um, bar when I was in the middle of doing it. He was like, he's like, go on, you can have more. Given it was only like 2.5 kilograms, but oh my gosh, because normally I just do it with a bar because it's just so difficult. But I just thought it was kind of funny that we're like doing each other's workout and like he was like pumping me on and I was like, yeah, I don't know. Um, I really like our, my gym because of the, oh, there's an ant on me. Oh my gosh. Okay, ant has been safely deposited outside. What was I saying? Yeah, um, I really like my gym because of the atmosphere there and I like, everyone's just really friendly and really nice and I always find myself, well not always, but sometimes I find myself talking to people in there and it's just, I've never really had that in the gym before. Um, everyone's very like nice to each other and supportive and it was just kind of nice to, I don't know, it's just a nice atmosphere. So yeah, that was kind of funny. I just, and it also made me feel validated that I like knew what I was doing because like a guy who was quite like muscular was asking me or what workout I was doing or what exercise I was doing and like copied it. And he was like struggling. So yeah. <laughs> But now I'm gonna shower. I don't know what Alex has said in the vlog, but today we are having a bit of an organized day because um, yesterday we had like a big business meeting and talked all things business and we have lots of like crap everywhere. We have a big uh, filing cabinet. No, it's not a filing cabinet. We have a set of drawers next to our desk, under our desk, that we just have been shoving stuff in for the longest time. It used to be organized. And because I've had it in my head for like the last month or two that I want to organize it, 
I've just been shoving stuff in there. So I'm gonna tackle that today because it's a lot of our like bank stuff and kind of like account stuff and I wanna organize it. So um, that should get us moving forward with being more organized and adult. And um, yeah, we have a few things to do. Alex said he wanted to go to Yo Sushi. Oh, is that my door? I think my door's being knocked on. Sorry about that. I totally forgot that, um, so. <laughs> So that was the plumber that I'd totally forgotten was coming to our house today. So I was like lying on the bed filming and then the camera was on the bed and it was on and it looked very dodgy. And I was like really sweaty. Good job I didn't go in the shower because if he'd arrived and was in the shower that would have been really awkward. But the toilet is fixed and well temporarily at least he's gonna get a part for it or something, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what I was saying but I'm gonna jump in the shower. I think I was saying that I enjoyed my gym and I think I was saying, I don't know what I was saying. I'm really sorry if it was like, I was saying I was gonna organize today. Yeah, we're gonna sort our life out today. Alex is on a bike ride, I hope he gets back soon. I've got all these, um, so this is the mess. These are packages we have to return. And then the desk, I pulled out a load of crap from the drawer yesterday, because I was trying to find something to do with um, taxes. We've just got a lot of organizing, but I find it really satisfying. I returned from our holiday and I was like, do you know what, I need, we need to sort our life out, we need to organise everything. I want to paint the table finally because I've been wanting to paint the table for bloody months. I want to organise all our sh <laughs> organise all our money, just be really organised. Organise my life. So yeah, but we're back in Brighton, hey. And um, we're going to book some holidays I think as well, after we've done our organising. So we have lots to look forward to this summer, yay! So bright and colourful. Ah. Have fun. Oh, I'm gonna bring you in here. <laughs> I've put the rack up yet. <laughs> you just grabbed my belly. Yeah. <laughs> did you have fun. I did. How'd you go? Asta. I actually was just thinking you'd probably gone to Asda to get some sweets. Where did I go? What's that place called? You know where we went to the beach? I can't remember the name of the place. I can't either. R Rotting Dean, that's Rotting it. Rotting Dean. Yeah, and then I came probably back. Probably the worst name for a place ever. <laughs> it sounds horrible. Rotting. But, and then I came back along the coastal road we did once. You mm. know, it gets to the marina and then you have a huge hill. That was fun. <laughs> nice weather, isn't it? You glad I told you to go on a bike ride? Yeah. Because you were like, oh no, I'm not going on a bike ride. And I was like, why not? I felt all like... Stinky and gross. Do you know I've got a um, I've got a new gym boyfriend. Another one. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if this is a joke that we've shared on this channel. <laughs> I can't we've, remember. I don't think we have. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's no. I'm joking. I made a joke once that She's a boy. Not joking. A boy spoke to me in the gym once, and I this ongoing joke about Alex. Have you got Pringles in your water bottle? <laughs> oh. Oh. I said if you put Pringles. You are a nutter! What flavour are they? Chips and curry? It's a World Cup special. For oh, God's sake. Yeah, a boy spoke to me in the gym and then I made the joke that I had a gym boyfriend, so we make jokes about it. But no, a guy, um, he, he copied my workout, Alex. I was doing Bulgarian split squats and he was like, oh my God, they look really hard. And then he did them. So I'm like proper. You should be a personal trainer. I know I should be a personal trainer, yeah. <laughs> you look so nice. Even like the, the colour is a nice colour. You believe they're vegan? I suppose it's just curry. I can't eat Pringles anymore, they've got wheat in them. More accurately, they have rusk powder, which sounds delightful. Mm, interesting. It's no surprise to me that 99% of these things are addressed to Alex. Editor's note, it doesn't surprise me that Maddie filmed the video leaving our address and bank statements on display either. And they are not mine. <laughs> ah! So guys, we're doing a giveaway on our channel. So all you have to do is comment down below to win 20 anonymous Monopoly money, 2,000 rupiah. How do you not remember? I don't remember what that is. Is that, 
Is that Bart? Yes. 20 Bart. It's the king. <laughs> it's the king. Oh no, 120 Bart and 2,000 rupee. And then to top it all off, guys. Oh, didn't want to lose that one. We have five Bart. Bart. One Bart. 10. 11 baht, 21. Ooh, what's this one? And oh, 1000 rupiah. Wow. This is 50 sen, 10 sen. So, how, how much is this? 21 baht. So we have 141 baht, 3000 rupiah, and 60 sen. So if you want to win it, comment below and one of you guys is in for a treat. How much money is that in pounds? Four pounds. Four pounds. But actually in all seriousness, what do we do with this money? Because you can't, we, we returned all the money and like swapped it at the, at the bank and stuff. You can take it to the bank. Yeah, the bank takes old coins. And they'll give you four pounds? Well, they wouldn't give you any money for it. Oh. Well, Sometimes just... you can put stuff in and it's like donation. I, okay, I can see that we'll keep the Bart. The Bart, I can see, but this, what do we do with it? No idea. Give it to one of you guys. It'll cost more to send um, it It's somewhere. a joke. I don't think it's very funny. I think you're getting the hopes up. Oh. 1,000 rupee has got to be like 5p. So what do we do with it? I can't throw, throw money away. You, well, you can if you want. I don't want to throw money away. That feels horrible. 5p. Yeah, I would never throw a 5 penny in the bin. If, you were li if you'd gone to live abroad in like France and you had a 5p in your pocket, what would you mm. do with it? I'd keep it forever, <laughs> exactly. So let's keep it forever. <laughs> I don't like it sitting around. My minimalist brain is like, ah. Get rid of it. Okay, we'll take it to the bank and this will keep. Yes. For next, for, for when we go to Thailand again, because we're definitely going to go to Thailand again. Okay. Stay tuned to the vlogs. Subscribe for the vlogs. Coming to a channel near you in six to 12 months. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Right, let's get back. We're gonna switch you off though because I think this is probably quite boring now. And now we are moving on to this drawer, which has got a lot of junk in it. It started off with all these cute little boxes. You might have seen a video of mine that I did a long time ago where I organised it. Because I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna organise it. I kept we kept on just chucking things in and not caring, so it's now become chaos. And we've just been so busy with work that I don't know. Does anyone else have this when you get busy with work? Organizing things is just your last priority. So <sighs> let's get into it. Lol. That's when we went to Angle Watts. Look at me. <laughs> I look the same as today with my hair. Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Does anyone not think that the song sounds the same as that song? Da, 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 da. Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Hey, hey, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. So I was just saying to Alex, and I was like, I should probably vlog this. My mind sometimes is baffled and it really spurs me on with things like minimalism and like being more uh, conscious of what I'm buying because even I, somebody who has decluttered and who has consciously chosen not to buy new stuff like notepads and things like that over the last few years, I still have so much because I feel like everybody gets given stuff. You like get given, like I have so many notepads, like this notepad has been going for years because it's just like a multicolored one that my mum, I think she gave me this or I've had it from when I was little and I found it again. I was like, oh, I'll just keep this as like a scrap notepad but it's still got so many pages in it and I just had to recycle a notepad because I have had it for about five or six years and I'm, it's like a kid's one with like writing and stuff in it and I just have so many that I just don't need it taking up space. And then we also have these two, which are brand new. I think, did we get given? I think, yeah, we got given these from my mom or from your mom or no, someone. I, that was mine at work. This is Alex's one at work and then this one we got given. No, oh no, this is Alex's mine when he was from a school. kid. Yeah. yeah, this one is from a kid, but we thought, oh, it's brand new, so it's a good one to keep. Also, like, all of the cables, and what else was I thinking of? The stuff that, like, you end up having loads of, like, pens and just... When it comes to stuff around your home, I know this isn't a video on my channel, but I'm assuming lots of you who follow me on here also watch my main channel. Realistically, you have your, like, set. Like, if you actually were to not... If you were to say, I'm not going to buy anything for the next year, apart from something I would absolutely need, like, if I'd need it, otherwise, like, my arm would fall off. Like... <laughs> You could live for like a whole year without buying anything but food and paying your bills because you just don't need anything. You have everything. Most people here watching this video are not like wanting to like be exclusive 
or anything, but uh, most people, vast majority of people who are watching this video will probably have lots of stuff and will probably have lots of stuff that they can keep using and they will probably, you know, you're buying new notepads when you have old ones. So ran over, but it just, it, it boggles my mind still to this day, even after moving, even after getting rid of stuff, we still have stuff. This feels good though. It does. It is nice to organize and it's, it's, a mm. draw, it's like our drawer of stuff. We don't have any other drawers of stuff because we have a kitchen and a mm. uh, bedroom and this is our only drawer of things like notepads and files and electronics and that type of thing. Yeah. So it's not bad because I know lots of people no, I will think have- it's all right. Lots of people have drawers all over their home with that type yeah. of thing. It makes me really realize how much stuff everyone has. Yeah. and how much stuff you accumulate in a lifetime just from people giving you things and you just living and existing. You just gather so much and it just puts things into perspective. You don't need to go out and buy new things because realistically we have enough notepads to last us for the next decade. And people are so obsessed yeah. with stationery and all that type of thing and buying oh. new stationery and every season and... Yeah, that's how WH Smith stays in business. Does it look like my head is much... Oh, I'm gonna go back. It looks like I'm, I've got a really big head. Well, it's because you're on the edge of the screen and you're closer. No, that's not right. So, I think we've been kind of, oh, God. I think we've been kind of crap vloggers because we haven't vlogged since earlier on, but everything is a lot more organized now, so I will show you. Actually, no, we'll wait until Alex is hoovered. But yeah, it's so nice. It feels so good. And we have like a huge pile of paper recycling and things to go to the charity shop, things to go to recycle, like wires to recycle. Oh yeah. So it was a really successful, organized. I feel much cleaner. And also we have like a pile of um, things here. Oh, I hope that's not got anything important. We have some, a pile of things here <laughs> that we need to do. And we need to like, yeah. we're like leaving them on the desk so that we do them because they've been sitting there and we've been like not doing yeah. them. Like Easy to forget them when they're yeah. hidden in the drawer. Stuff to do with like student loan and what else is there? Stuff to do with bank and like, your stuff. phone needs to be repaired. And my phone needs to be repaired. So we're leaving that out so we don't have it in a drawer. But let me show you the drawers and then I can show you. Yeah, let me show you the drawers. So top drawer, beautiful. And this now is like space for my hard drive and Alex's hard drive because this used to sit on our desk every day, which was kind of cluttering it. So all this space was freed up from what we got rid of. So before it was literally like literally like this there was so much free space and then these are all organized and then in here we've made a new drawer because we literally got rid of so much that we had a spare drawer and this is now just for alex's games and stuff which is not even that full um but it's got all his pokemon things because you're a child seven and up <laughs> that was pokemon gold is 12. and then this drawer is um now well this is not doesn't look very organized but this is we're going to get a new folder for um money stuff so we want to separate it out so this, and then we've got a folder of manuals, like not manuals, like receipts and important things. And then this folder is like important stuff. And then under here is like paper, basically, notepads. And then here we have boxes for- That's pretty much a new drawer as well. Yeah, this is pretty much a new drawer because we got rid of so much, but it's just literally just my phone box, Alex's phone box, Xbox controller. And then we put our DVDs in here just because the box under our TV was just really full. And then this money we're gonna to take to Thailand. We're going to Thailand. And then the bottom drawer is just our bags. So it's camera bag, laptop case, this little bag that Alex used for travel, and then all our GoPro stuff. And then this is like a um, portable uh, Wi-Fi thing that we're gonna use when we go on holiday. So it was pretty good. So I do feel like this is a little bit uh, more like the stuff I do on my channel, but I didn't want to make this as a video for my channel. So I guess what, this is what the vlogs and this kind of content is for, is to do stuff that I want to do, but I don't want to put on my channel. That didn't make much sense, but I'm sure you know what I mean. That feels so satisfying and pleasing to have done. I think for two people, that's really good. And that means we've got so much less stuff and it's just, it's just so great. Like I love just not having a lot of stuff. Like this is just all of our electronics. And then the other day also I moved um, because all the cameras were always sitting on the desk in the corner here. This desk isn't sorted by the way yet. Um, but yeah, all our stuff was sitting on the desk. So I made space on um, this to put our cameras here because we have things like Joby's and GoPro and batteries and they're always just hovering about everywhere because we use them every day. So now they are here. And when I'm not using this camera, it sits here. So yeah, I'm just really pleased. And then, um, oh, Alex has put his little thingy here. <laughs> Hello. 
There he is. There he is. This one's much cuter though. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when the desk is nice and clean and Alex is hoovered. Ta-da! Would you look at that? I mean, ignore this, because this is always a mess. It's all nice and tidy. I need to frame these. Everything's just, everything's just beautiful. How do you feel? Beautiful. We also have a pile of things to sell. So um, if I haven't already sold this, Alex will write up on the screen that it's for sale or if it's not for sale, but we're selling one of our G7Xs. Um, so if you're interested, then let us know. Message me on Instagram, but it might already be gone, but we'll put up on the screen if it's still for sale or not. And we're also selling um, Alex's old camera, which is a Panasonic Lumix. Again, he'll put up on the screen if this is still for sale or not. The GF5. GF5, great camera, but we just don't need them. They both work perfectly well. Um, we just don't need them anymore, but we have the boxes and all that for them, so. And bits and bobs, yeah. cases and whatnot. We have all the cases for them, and um, we've got some packages down that we need to post. I was saying to Alex yesterday, looking at our living space, do you think that I like fluffy things? Because we have a fluffy rug, a fluffy rug, another fluffy rug, he's just moved this to Hoover, another fluffy pillow, another fluffy pillow, <laughs> and the other day I was in my fluffy dressing gown. Yeah. And I was like, do you think I like cream and grey fluffy things? Fluffy, 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 fluffy. Hmm. Where's the colour? You need some colour like this. In the plants. <laughs> It is evening time. It is half nine and I'm midway through Love Island. Who else is watching Love Island? Who else is obsessed with Love Island? I was obsessed last year, the year before. I even watched the old school Love Island back in the day when I was like really young and it was really crap, but what was it? Wasn't it Callum Best and Celebrity. Sophie? Celebrity Love Island. Yeah, and Sophie so-and-so, she was really annoying. She was like a model, but she was super annoying. Did any of you guys watch the old Love Island before they revamped it? I think we're gonna end the vlog here. Alex has something in his hands. You have to come to me though. Oh, this advert yeah. break's not gonna last that much longer, <laughs> honey. I've just finished painting. You'd be pleased to know. Painting and what? The floor. They don't know that. I'm talking to you. Oh. <laughs> and what have we got here? We've got a retractable clothesline. Alex, this is not- We've got a sponge and we've got another bike rack. So stay tuned for the next vlog because I'm gonna be doing all these things. It'll be like a tiny bit of the vlog, but if you like that sort of thing, then stay tuned. If you like watching someone put a <laughs> clothesline up, I mean. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the organizational vlog. Yeah. <sighs> Thumbs up for Love Island, it's about to start, so it's my cue to say goodbye! 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 <laughs>